Mr. Chairman, my amendment would restore the full state and local tax deduction, or SALT, and stop the double tax put in place on homeowners, families, communities across our country with the egregious cap in the GOP tax scam. After deliberately targeting the Northeast for their first tax bill, like JAWS, Republicans are back to take another bite out of my constituents' wallets. The sequel tax scam we consider today further pummels the Northeast by making permanent the limits to the state and local tax deductions. But Republicans are looking out for their friends, while corporations and businesses still get to deduct their full salt Large families will see a significant tax increase with this joke. In New Jersey, the average SALT deduction claimed in 2016 was more than the 10,000 limit in 20 out of 21 counties. In my district, the average was over 18,000, and in some counties, more than 24,000. That means that the average tax-paying household in my district now has to pay income tax on an additional $14,000 worth of income without any increase in wages to speak of. If they're a middle-class family being taxed at 24%, that's an extra $3,400 they have to come up with at tax time. That's a tax on the tax. They already pay on their property and state sales tax. That's a big hit for regular families. I don't think anybody could disagree with me on that. But this egregious double tax is not just a problem in the Northeast. In fact, towns in Minnesota will be hit harder than towns in my own district of New Jersey. Cities like Minnetonka, famous city, Wayzata, the average salt did. Very famous cities. Can I have water, Mr. Chairman? <laughs> water or We've water. always been hoping for that, Mr. Pesci. Yeah. The average salt deduction in 2016 was just under $60,000. More than half of the households in these areas claim the salt deduction. A 50000 additional income being taxed on these households? That amounts to a 12000 tax bill for those families if they're taxed at the 24% bracket. If they're at 32 percent, it jumps to $16,000 tax bill, a tax on a tax. In Oak Brook in Westmont, Illinois, 60 percent of the families used the deduction in 2016. The average value there was over $30,500. Given how hard taxpayers will be hit there, it's surprising to see members from Illinois and Minnesota vote for a bill that directly harms their constituents. This bill manages to give away $657 billion and still takes from homeowners in those communities. It is mind boggling a member would want to hammer his constituents like that. Some members like to talk about how great tax cuts are, like some miracle drug that cures all ills. They usually leave out the details like telling their constituents that the new cap on state and local deductions means they'll be taxed at a higher income level than they were before. Forget about tax cuts. Constituents in these districts will be lucky to break even or more likely face a tax increase. Many property tax bills are issued and are due October the 1st. I asked my colleagues, how will your constituents feel when they find out they can no longer deduct their property taxes or state taxes on their federal returns? This bill doubles down on the double tax. This is a literally rubbing salt in the wounds, salt of our middle class neighbors. And with that, I yield back.